And I did want to mention that uh, YouTube is deleting subscribers. So if you have subscribed to this channel, please check and double check and make sure you still are. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am your host, the most famous YouTuber in the world that no one has ever heard of. Right, welcome back, everybody. If you're new here, we are working on that 1925 Model T Touring Car. And we are back to where we started. Got the pistons in, new rods in, new crank. This is an EE crank, which is supposed to be the best there is. Uh, that's what I have in my own car. All the bearings are lapped in. If you didn't see those videos, go back and check them out. Uh, we still have a radiator leaking on the floor. But it is time to get back to work. If you haven't seen the other videos, go uh, watch this one and then go back. There's a whole, this is in a, a whole playlist called, uh, what did I name it, 1925 Model T. But it's on there, you can see it all. Um, I got a little bit of cleaning up to do. And I did want to mention that uh, YouTube is deleting subscribers. So if you have subscribed to this channel, please check and double check and make sure you still are. They have a nasty habit of deleting views, deleting subscribers, and keeping all the money that they make from the ads because they don't delete the ads. All right, let's get back into it and get this mess cleaned up. Oh, this crank has been balanced. And I did weigh all the connecting rods. I weighed all the pistons. I weighed all that stuff. So uh, we should be good to go there. It shouldn't shake too bad. Uh, the flywheel has been balanced as well. And there's the old crank and the old pistons. So let's get to it. Before we can do the transmission, I need to take this off. And when I take this off, I might as well put the cam gear on. And... Uh, talk a little bit about that I guess okay on here we have a dot we need to line that dot up with the cam gear so it's going to be over here someplace we need to move this I might as well use this because it's easy there's no um really There we go. Okay, so it's about here, so we're going to go somewhere in that vicinity. And yes, with the rings in it, it's uh, getting harder and harder to turn. But I do believe that the starter will still do it. Well, I went too far. Good grief. Okay, our dots here now, it's lined up with the... Let's take a minute and check out this gear. Comes with a nut, that's cool. New improved nylon gear. Advanced. Here's where I get a little cranky, a little testy. Let me show you what's up on the wall here. See if I can get it to focus. Okay. Well, the camera did it again. Battery life. I'm, I'm shooting on the Nikon P500 because the audio is so much better and the battery life is absolutely horrible. But now you see up there, you see up there we have a gear with some marks on it and four holes instead of two and multiple marks. Um, yeah, that's an advanced gear. I started selling these. I'm the one that made these. I invented this gear. Uh, I was selling them. I sold, sold hundreds. And I even had some tools made up. So that you could put it in the advanced position. And I had a tool. This is to drill it. And that's to check it. So we put this on here. 
And we move the thing and we look at the needle and yep it's uh, about seven degrees advanced everything was going great until showed up swap meet looked at the table of my wares and decided that he was going to do this and cut me out he undercut me by about 10 bucks if I remember right uh, he stole this idea and he stole the uh, the Dynabeads kit idea and undercut me on that as well. So, not something I expected a, a lifelong friend of mine to do. But I guess in big business, it, the, that's the way it's done. I'm still not happy about it, clearly. But, whatever, he can have it. Yeah, there's a seven right there. So it's not seven and a half as advertised on the box. It's seven. So the way this works is we need to put this down. I'll get you shot in a second here. And we're going to need to turn this to get it in the proper position. But you want this dot to line up with that dot. And if I can get an overhead view for you, the tripod doesn't go up any higher. But if I can get an overhead view, I'll... Uh, Let's see if maybe that'll do it. Okay, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see the dot on the crank. Can you see it? It's right in front of my thumbnail. I know it's blurry. Let me go, let me back up. Maybe I can do it in the um, in the software. If I can get this in focus. Maybe I can do it in uh, in, in post as they call it. But there's a dot right there. It's not lined up with, sorry, it's not lined up with the keyway. The keyway is kind of half in the valley and half on this tooth. I don't know why Ford did it that way, but they did. Now the camshaft is already in, the valves are already in. I did double check them. I need to, where is this going to be? This is going to be somewhere. and that general vicinity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on and I'm going to line up because it's a spiral so you have to start over here to get up to that dot so I'm going to start there see if we can get this to cooperate My pins are fairly lined up. And I'm going to use this again just because it's almost impossible to Let me back you up again here because this is getting to the point. And with the extra from the camshaft on here, it's going to become very, very difficult to turn. I'm just going to rock this back and forth a little bit with the hopes that this draws down which it hasn't. The thing I like about these nylon gears, other people don't like about them, is they self-seat. Yeah, we're not, not even close yet. They will seat themselves in a very short amount of time. Okay. It's like we're getting there. Gentle tap tap. I know I'm probably doing this wrong too. It's still standing proud, so we're going to put the nut on. Alright, we're in the ballpark. We can take this off now. Okay, they make a special tool for this. Well, they made a special tool for this. I don't know if they still do or not. I've been out of the loop so long. So that goes on there. Apparently we're going to grab our 7 8 wrench. I'm going to guide this on the rest of the way. Okay. Our dots are aligned. Our gear got a little dirty, but it's going to get worse. It's going to be bathed in oil soon. So that takes care of our gear. And now we've got the ring off. 
and I think we're going to be doing the transmission next. Looks to me like it's going to be a transmission.